Warriors, and welcome back to another episode of Battletech, continuing the story of Voodoo three years on from the coup d'etat against the Urano family. Yes, three years have passed since the end of the last cutscene that we ended at last episode on, and unfortunately, a minor mistake was made during the recording. I didn't quite realize that I hadn't restarted the recording until basically I was standing in the loading screen. So, uh, we have missed a small conversation and pr showing a uh, news footage uh, showing the dropship that we had tried to escape on had been shot down, and we ran into a group of marauders, or at least the Marauder Mercenary Company, who decided that they would take us on or get us out of here, and we decided that we would sign on for them for a little while to sort of, well, do something now that we didn't have any sort of gainful employment anymore. So that is the situation as things stand now. Here we are, dropped off in this mining colony here that most people will probably find familiar. This is one of the missions that got featured very heavily in a lot of tech demos and the like. And uh, we are helping out these miners to recover some of their stolen property from these bad guys over here. So, without further ado, let us take us our lance and get on involved in whatever is about to happen. So we will, of course, send ourselves forward. After all, we are a selfless leader. And we'll take Glitch with us. Come up on this uh -huh. forward area. And I know that there is a little sort of side path off to here that we're going to send our behemoth in her Shadowhawk over to... Uh, select Behemoth, select Sprint, so we know we're getting as far as we can, and right on in there. Acknowledged. And we don't ever want to send a mech all on their own, so we'll send Decker to go with her. And she's blocking the path, so Decker's only going to be able to get to about on this far. Sprinting across the landing pad there. Sort of damaging their fences. We're sorry about that. We'll, well, no, we won't replace it, but we're sorry about it. And let's continue to sort of sneak on down this area, marching over here. And take you, select your sprint. Oh, we got enemy contacts. We have you located multiple turrets. Majesty Metals and Manufacturing Property and acting in collusion with a domestic terrorist organization. Cease your advance immediately, or you will be fired upon. Terrorists? I didn't hear anything about any terrorists. All I heard about was that a small group of miners desperately Good needed a little bit of help. So we're going to march on up here, get both of our people rolling. Received. And we'll make sure that Behemoth is marching along nice and Roger easily that. there. Decker looks like he can get a little bit farther, so we'll bring him over along to this side here. See what we can peek at and see as we move our entire lance around. He is evasive with four pips. And the enemies are now taking their turns. We have found them. Looks like a pair of battle mechs and a whole bunch of turrets. And a commando surging on forward first as it comes to our turn. I think we're going to want to reserve, just so that we can get Decker into a nice, fun position. Reserving allows us to drop down in the initiative order. We can save up our turns for later. See where both of their mechs are going. And they're stopping right there. Let's see if we can't cause a little bit of havoc. Orders. Can I rush my Shadowhawk up in here? Not as much as I'd like, to be honest. Decker, how Commander. far can you move? We can get Decker to about here, so we'll zip Decker on over here. Get his little la his medium lasers involved in this combat here. And it's spider versus spider. And we'll take our shot. And 40% uh, chance to hit. Not great. But it will reduce his evasion a little bit. We got one hit, one miss. And his evasion coming down means that we can hit him more accurately with other weapons. So let's see if there's a position I can't move into myself. So that I can get a good shot on. It's not looking great to be honest. Is there a position I can jump to? We do have jump jets aboard our blackjack, even though they did malfunction last time. Hmm, we will be seen by everybody. And that makes me not happy. Don't want to be seen by everything, just some things. Oh, come around in here, see if we... Whoops, didn't mean to jump. I forgot to select it to normal walk. That'll be fine. It generates a little bit of heat, so that's not great. But, we can, uh, we should be able to take care of it. We're going to target this spider, see if we can't deal some damage. Oh, shows us the biome here. So we are inspired, so this unit gets minus one difficulty to all attacks. So we're a little bit more accurate than usual. And uh, this uni units in the Badlands only sink 85% of the normal heat, so it's a little bit hotter here. We can pour a lot of firepower into him, and we have quite a few shots to do it. So this is probably our sweet spot. All Let's blast into him. Committed. Looks like we missed with one of the auto cannons. I wanted to hit both, but I guess not. Structure exposed, minus one evasion. He's more vulnerable to our attacks. Let's bring Standing Behemoth by. up in her shadow cap. Or Shadow Hawk, not Shadow Cat. Shadow, uh, the uh, Shadow Cat's a different mech. It's a, I believe it's a clan mech. It's got a Gauss rifle. It's pretty fun. You get it in Mech Warrior Three. 
and we'll have her also target this spider, lay on into him. She doesn't have multi-target, so we're just going to have to power everything we've got into it. Missed with the auto cannon. was really hoping to hit with that auto cannon. Auto cannons do a nice amount of damage. And we've only got Glitch left. Waiting on you, Commander. I'm give Glitch a nice position to shoot from. Uh, yeah, she'll have a good target here. So we'll march her on up here in her Vindicator, her VND1R. And she will also blast away. Can I multi-target for better accuracy on that LRM5? Because it's only a 35% right now. And oh, that drops to a 25%. So I guess we're not going to multi-target. We're just going to hit it one target with everything we got. That'll be the spider. And 65% chance with the PPC and the laser. Let's see what Tell happens. What to shoot. Roll the dice. Oh, a good hit with the PPC. That took out his entire right torso. Taking out the right torso takes out the arm as well. Brings his evasion down to pretty much zero. They've got a sensor lock on oh, me. they're sensor locking us with their turrets. That'll allow Warning. them to long range shell Enemy us. Sensor lock detected. They, they sensor locked lock us. Me. That's three so far. That brings down the evasion, which is not locked. good. So a long range fire thanks to the sensor lock coming down on our blackjack. Dealing pretty consistent damage there on that left side. And we got even more missiles coming in, slamming into the blackjack. I suppose the one saving grace is our blackjack is not a lot of our firepower. It's just a whole bunch of lasers. It's on to our turn. Decker's time to get involved. Decker, can you walk up and punch Waiting him in the face? Because that would make my life much easier. Looks like you can and you won't be exposed when you do it, so Coordinate kick him. Received. So we're going to get up here and Engaging. boot to the nuts. That'll be 30 damage and a lost guarded, so that'll make him more vulnerable to incoming fire. And now it's the commando's turn to move that will place our spider in a little bit of a vulnerable position, or are you going to turn? Nope, he's going to blast everything he's got into the Vindicator, which, not a bad choice. Ooh, almost made her unstable, but not quite. So we should be able to follow up on this one. Oh, the spider now gets to move, because it's also a light mech. And it's gone entrenched. Unfortunately, it's order. decided to stop in front of Behemoth, and Behemoth is, uh... Well, she's a behemoth, and she's about to punch him in the face. Targeting for physical attack. Left arm destroyed, left torso destroyed, evasion. Another injured on that pilot. What's left on this mech here? Not a whole lot. Uh, we will also get involved in this funness. We have one, two, three, four medium lasers. Waiting if we were to fire those lasers... Now, we want to save the PPC, so... We're, no, we're going to run in. We're going to punch him in the face. It'll be an 85% chance to hit with 40 damage. If Glitch wanted to do that, what would Glitch do? Ya. She'd have 55, but she's got a lot more firepower than that PPC. Uh, really? What can I do for you? What's the odds of us actually hitting this target here? Yeah, they're not terrible. The auto cannons are better. So I think we might be able to just blast him down. We're gonna give it a shot. Engaging target. Ooh, not good. Structure exposed, minus one evasion. So we're on a glitch go. here, and do we fire? 75%, and we only really need to get one good shot in. That's not true at all. If we want to core him out, we need to do 60 damage. We need to have the PPC and the medium laser, or the small laser, hit him dead center. He's equipped with an SRM-6 and an SRM-4. That's a lot of SRM firepower. I think we're just going to blast him, because we will do more damage. Here we go. Come on, give me a good... Oh, she missed with the PPC. Minus one evasion. SRM six critted, so Another he lost that. Like that and you're toast. He will be toast if we can do him like that again. Unfortunately, we got to survive another turn of shelling, and that's Morning. not going to be good. Enemy sensor lock detected. They've got a lock on me. It's a whole bunch of incoming sensor locks. This will be very bad. Incoming fire on the spider. The spider managed to get, take only one hit, but dodged the others. My armor's getting stripped off. Ooh, I didn't quite realize they'd be in range for that. We're gonna have to move him back soon. Miss, 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 but two more hits. His structure's exposed. He's a bad way. Losing armor. We need to pull him back. Oh, and the enemy's falling up with missiles on him. Let's see if we can't rush him back before he dies. Reporting. Internal damage. He's got internal structure pain. More missiles incoming on him. Oh. Lots of hits on that left arm. My internals are taking a beating. We gotta pull him back. All right, Waiting Decker, it's time to move. Get around to here. I copy. Find some cover from those turrets, and we'll open fire on this spider. With any luck, we'll manage to hit something important. Center torso destroyed. We got him out of the fight. 
Pilot incapacitated, as one might expect. Down. And then... Oh, the commando's going. He's gonna back up slowly. Keeps firing into the Vindicator. Honestly, that's not a bad target to shoot at. She's got a lot of firepower. Yikes! That hit hard! We'll have to avoid any more damage from that. But because he backed up, I don't think he evaded at all. Doesn't look like it. Good to go. So we will use Voodoo to wipe him out. I think he'll wipe him out. In the sweet spot, well, not quite. 40% accuracy, but I'll take... Uh, we will overheat if we do this. If we drop the auto cannons off, we still will overheat. We need to take a laser out. Hmm, that's not great. I think we'll take the internals just to see if we can't kill them in one shot. Wow, we are missing all over the place here. Bad damage because of the structural. Alrighty. What's up, boss? What's up? I need you to take out that Waiting turret building. Is what's up? So let's see if we can't do that. We're gonna rush our Shadowhawk in, get her to fire everything she's got into it. We've got enough. We've still got glitch ready to go if needed. And we'll fire everything we have into this building here. Every single weapon we've got. Taking the shot. Any luck, we'll be able to kill it out in one shot. Missiles. Oh, the laser missed. That's not good. Probably not going to be able to kill it now. And i got to take that thing Commander? out this turn. There's there's just no other way to put it. So we're going to march her up full right, speed. Commander. Give her a little bit of defense. can't believe all those lasers missed. And uh, we will now attack. We're going to attack the turret generator. Hit it with the PPC and the LRMs. Got to make sure that Roger thing goes that. down. PPC hits. And the missiles wipe it out. So that'll be the turrets out. We're not, we're not going to take all that shelling Target damage anymore. Uh, with any luck, we'll go first, though, in the initiative order. Cross your fingers. Nope, Commando's going first. He's turning around. Who's he going to go after? Looks like he's going for either the spider or to shoot at the... No, still shooting the Vindicator. Now hitting's oh, on the right side. I'm hit. Ooh, Glitch took a hit to the head. So she's a little bit banged around in her cockpit there. That's not great. Commander. Decker, punch him. No, nope, that, that didn't do as much as I had wanted to. But it did reduce the evasion, and that was kind of the point. Commander. Behemoth. Punch him harder. Copy. Let's show him that we do not appreciate people taking shots at our Vindicator <gasps> like that. Yup, that did it. She basically wiped out the entirety of the torso. Just her giant metal fist smashing through the entirety of the mech and cutting in half. Additional targets have just dropped in. So it's on to our turn. And we do that have them in sensor range. We have unknown contacts at long range. So we need to be moving soon. Uh, I think Decker's up. Good to go. So Decker's going to start sprinting on up here. Get as far as he can with a sprint. That'll let him get a pretty decent idea as to what's about to come. Double time. Let's go. He is hurting, but I'm hoping that he won't be targeted. Also hoping that his high evasion will mean that he can't get hit. After all, whatever we should have mixed that have high evasion, we can't touch them. As you saw with that laser volley. What was up with that? And they are starting to move. Looks like we got a battle mix marching right up that road. Alright, I want Behemoth up front. And again, we're going to sprint. Get as far forward as we can. Double time. Let's go. Looks like Behemoth is pretty much untouched at this point. She hasn't taken really any damage at all. Whereas we we're cooking a little bit. It's not terrible. But we are cooking just a wee bit. And Glitch is, well, Glitch has a headache. We need to get her back down as soon as we can. Looks like they're splitting up. We got some moving down along the bottom pass and one moving along the main. We're going to have to see what that third vehicle does. Good to go. Glitch, again, sprint, get up here. Got it. We want to have a welcoming committee for him. So that when things actually happen, we'll have some fun with it. Cooling right on down. Enemy turn. Where's this tank going? Alright, it's also coming down this main road. So we've got two vehicles heading down the main road, and then one's coming up for us. We'll get us to move as well. And we will, of course, sprint as far as we can. Yeah, that'll be fine. Full throttle. We also need to cool off quite a bit because we're we're very hot. We're cooking a bit. But we're dropping off. Uh, we probably still can't get a full alpha drake next turn. 
So it'll probably take a little bit longer before that can happen. Uh, I'm going to reserve you. You're Wait not in a shot. position to really deal a whole ton of damage. So we're going to see what he does in this mech here. He's up near the top. He's taking a fire at me. He's managed to crit my AC too. That's not good. Did also bring our evasion down, but he has exposed Morning. himself now. Damage critical. Alrighty, so now we can really get set into him. Hmm. He's increased by one to a maximum of five. That would be really useful. But I want to also be able to, you know, shoot. So we're just going to walk on right up to him. That'll be good. Got it. Her Vindicator is mostly chill. She's got a little bit of heat left over, but she's still in a pretty good position right now. We'll fire everything she's got, except for the LRMs, has the only 30% chance to hit. Actually, we could... Four shots at a 30... Or five shots at a 30%? That'll be one, maybe two hits for an additional five damage. Yeah, we're just going to pour it on. Structure exposed. Managed to deal a decent amount of damage. Took off minus one evasion, so he's down to two. Enemy turn. Yeah, and their trucks are moving down to the basement. I don't know why they're why they're down there. Would have made much more sense to come up with that. What are you? Shadowhawk up here. Yes, Commander. All right, Behemoth, you're also a Shadowhawk, aren't you? So let's have a party. So march her up in a position where she'll be able to bring the pain. Probably should have moved ourselves into that position because he's still going to be somewhat evasive here. Minus four difficulty. Hmm. I don't know if that makes it easier or harder. So this is just a passive. All right. Uh, let's see. It's going to be 75% and 30% on the missiles, but we're good on heat, so Taking open up. Shot. Yes. Right arm destroyed. And some LRM hits. His evasion came down even further. Enemy turn. Their other tank is a rolling on. Then we're going to hop Decker, I think. Because if I can give Decker a shot on this guy, then I can cause some pain. Or, the main thing is that if we didn't hit him with Decker, then we can t have stripped all of, his, uh, all of his evasion. That's kind of the goal here. So Decker's in a position to blast down at him. Roger that. Fire from above. Two lasers right on target. So his evasion is gone at this point, which means we can come in with our auto cannons. And our auto cannon got critted, but it looks like it's still a viable weapon. Can I move? To, yeah, I can gain two points of sprinting here. But this will be within auto cannon range, which is not good. Can, is there anywhere I can move that I can get a sprint going and still shoot at him? Because I really want to be like right around here. I'm pretty sure this is the sweet spot range. Looks like we're just going to have to tank it. So we will take our shots. That's too good of an opportunity not to. Yeah, we're going to cook a little bit more, but I think it's a great chance to do something here. All weapons committed. And LRM5 crit. Not what I'm looking for. I'm looking to knock him over. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. And we are cooking. It's our turn. Decker's up again. And if we reserve, the Shadowhawk goes first. I'm tempted to pull him. Decker, if you shoot, which I know you can, you've got an opportunity to knock out... Hmm. If Decker takes a called shot here to wipe out this torso, that'll knock out his heavy cannon. That'll bring him down to just an SRM 2 rack, I believe. So, to hit that torso, we need to deal 56 damage, which he can't do. Hmm. Could leg him now at 55. He just doesn't have enough damage to do anything for that. So, I think we save the strike. We can't. We're not going to. Instead, I think we just move Decker back, because Decker is really weak right now. So, can I walk Decker back out of here? No, he's, he's pretty committed on top of there. So we will jump Decker on out of here then. Pull him away so that he can't be hit. And Decker's got a lot of movement, so he should be able to follow up shortly after. Pull on back. 
Don't want to risk the spider. If we lose the spider, well, we don't want to lose battle mechs. Plain and simple. And then... That won't help us, because he's already at the top of the initiative. So we'll guard and entrench. That means that he's better defended. Shadow Cat's a stomping forward. Let's see what he wants to do. Gotta take an auto cannon shot at... At the other Shadow Hawk. Makes sense. Evasion goes down one. Doesn't look like any damage got through. So that's good. And then we want... Commander? Uh, let's see. Glitch has a maximum damage potential of... 95 plus the LRMs, which good won't hit. Go. Whereas this has a maximum of 16 plus 25 plus 45. Glitch has the best chance. So Glitch, I think you're in range to hit him with everything. So if I go for a precision strike and aim everything we've got here, you will have... Yeah, okay, so minus difficulty means better accuracy. Got it. I suppose that makes a certain amount of sense, but... Commencing alpha strike. Call shot, left torso. We want to take out that main gun. Yep, left torso and left armor destroyed. Side torso, it, which is a pilot injury right there. And it's the enemy turn. They're going to move their trucks now. I want to keep the morale high. Uh, we only used 20 of our morale. We, as long as we stay over 50%, we'll be able to... Uh, I kind of just want to kick you in the face. Yeah, the only thing he's got left is that center torso. Yes, Commander. Oh, are you in range right now? Yeah, it looks like somebody else can see you. So we're going to move you just slightly. Just so that you're not vulnerable. We'll get you right on top of him. Position we won't be able to use the LRMs, which is 20 damage potentially. But this ought to be just fine. We'll turn off the LRMs for this attack. Uh, the AC-5 does not like it, but hey, screw it. Shoot anyway. Hey, we hit with the AC-5. He's unsteady, which means he's wobbling a bit. Enemy turn now. And they're going to continue to drive along that bottom pass where they're not all that dangerous. Back to our turn and to us, which we desperately need to cool down. Ugh, guarded intense move any stability damage. Well, yeah, we, we got to cool down. We can't afford not to. Uh, how much morale do I currently have? I got 62, yeah. So we're just going to go full tank, guard. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. That way Decker can get involved here. And if Decker wants to, Decker might be able to get something done here. Just going to walk him around to the front. We're going to hope that these lasers can deal enough damage. So if they get a center torso hit, That'll be 20 morale. That'll bring us below morale levels. But if we get that center torso hit on both lasers, we'll kill him. We're going to go precision strike. On the shadow cat. Target that center torso. It's a risk, but I'm going to take it. And it's also going to drop his initiative. Got the center torso. Excellent. So the spider managed to take him out. Destroyed. So hopefully that'll actually bring us back up to above 50%. I don't know if it counts that or not. And these vehicles are now exposing themselves. Oh, not quite. Back to our turn. Commander? Glitch is a little bit hot. Behemoth is fine. She doesn't care. She's a badass. Can I get an angle where she can shoot at just the one? Because that's what I'd like the most. That'll allow her to only take a indirect fire shot, so that should be good. Hello. Unfortunately, she doesn't have multi-target, so we're going to have to deal with that. And, yeah, we'll just fire all these weapons. Her Shadow Cat is really cool, by which I mean temperature. She, she doesn't overheat very much. Enemy turn. Looks like that tank's going to get to move, and I didn't want it to. But such is life. Whew. Barely missed our spider. That was close. And then we can get back in this fight, I think. Let's walk on over to here. We'll be able to use just our auto cannons this time. That'll save us some heat, I think. So yeah, shut off the medium lasers. Cool this mech down a bit, and we'll take a pair of auto cannon shots. Targeting rear armor. Vehicle destroyed. Enemy unit destroyed. Which makes us all inspired. So that puts us back up to above 
Excellent. Good to go. Gooch, do you have a shot? If I jump you, do you have a shot? She only has indirect fire shots, which is not, not what we're looking for. So I will... We would just want to walk right here. On my way. We need to get Decker out of here. Because Decker is in a pretty vulnerable position. I don't want to risk him. And we'll fire our LRMs. Firing on target. It's not an accurate shot. But it's a little bit of damage. Alright, Decker's up. I'm going to reserve Decker. Oh, wait, no, I should have walked Decker behind a building. Very foolish of me. On to our turn. Interesting. Commander? Not sure what he's playing at. This will give us an accurate shot. Hopefully this will be able to take him out completely. And take aim. Don't need the LRMs. We're not in SRM range, so Got take it. a shot. That big PPC, it does a lot of damage if it hits, but the trick is it's got to hit. And it only fires a Move single shot. Down. So took the vehicle out. Good job. Take us to our turn. And we'll rush on over here. Everybody else will rush on over here. Coordinates received. Come at this from multiple directions. Ready for orders. I really want to keep you in back. So we'll have you circle all the way around. you got the movement to do it, but I want to keep Heading you out. sort of away from the fight. Let's bring the Shadowhawk up with me, if I can. Can I attack? No. So are you stuck there? No, there we go. Now you have movement, Pips. Move order received. Yep. Keep the two medium mechs moving forward. Well, they're all medium mechs, except for the spider. Not really a mech that I think we should bring... All right, Behemoth has a shot, so let's take it. Firing. Yep, there goes that building. Great job, Commander. Double back to our client's platform. The sooner we can collect our pay and break orbit, the better. Sweet. Ready for orders. All righty, let's sprint on over here. Affirmative. And we shall also sprint for if we can. Just get right on up in here. Moving to position. And how far can you get? Not as far. It's going to be a little bit of a trip. Aye, aye. Allied turn. That allied turn's making me a little bit nervous. Good to go. I mean, people are not exactly good people in this universe. Someone has once described it as Game of Thrones in space, and that's that's not a terrible comparison. So the fact that they keep going through the Allied turns and have defenses anyway, and they didn't shoot on those tanks, makes me a little concerned. Uh, Decker, you're mostly happy, so let's just move you around for sprinting reasons. Keep up your evasion. After all, you are pretty badly dented. We don't want you to take any damage. You don't have to. Alrighty. Let's get... Commander. Behemoth moving on in here. Moving to position. Blackjack to follow this up. And by blackjack I mean voodoo. And may as well. Coordinates received. Just screwing around at this point. <laughs> Gotta wait for the rest of our guys to get on up here. And we need to keep them evasive if at all possible. Back on to our turn. Sprint on up here. And... Sprint on over here. Get her right on the beacon. Get him rushing around. Pretty much his only defense is evasion. I mean, he has no armor. Most of it's been shot away. Alrighty, our turn. Good to go. On my way. Yes, Commander. Just keep rushing around in crazy Position. circles. But anyway, Commander, we should have no trouble mopping up the other platforms now that the defenses are down. We'll get the job done. Speaking of which, I wasn't finished. These platforms won't do us much good if we can't haul them. Majesty Metals taught us that. So, uh, we're gonna need your battle mechs. You're gonna wanna reconsider that. Why? 
Your lance has already been target locked by our turrets. Now power down and surrender, and we'll let you walk. Or try to fight and we'll tear to shreds. Your call. <sighs> well, there goes our goddamn payday. Hold on tight, Commander. We're on the way. Interesting. Okay, our turn. It's top of the initiative order. Looks like we've got a couple of vehicles, a couple of turrets, and a turret generator. How much health does this turret generator have? Standing by. Yeah. If I were to shoot at it. Not you. Not you. Apparently I can't shoot at it. Gotta move. I'm currently not in a good position to shoot at the turret generator building thingy. Confirmed. We need to keep our mech... Uh, Pretty defended because it's not in good shape. Now let's weaken it. Acquired. It's going to take another two rounds of shooting at it to knock it out, but that'll leave us two battle mechs left. Hostile turn. They're moving up. They're moving up around this way. It'll put it probably in range to shoot my blackjack. Nope, not quite. Okay, so that's going to give us. Waiting for orders. It's kind of going to give us the turn that we need. So. Receiving you. I think I want Behemoth. Behemoth, can you see that? That turret building from where you are? No, she can't. Alright, so she's going to have to take a couple of steps over. Make sure that we have target on that building. No, not, up, not select Decker. Select like next to Decker. Yeah, that'll be fine. Heading out. Walking backwards. She should have enough weaponry to wipe that thing out. So... Yeah, she should have more than enough firepower. And... Fire everything. You're cool and you have enough ammunition. Target acquired. Yeah, just had to make sure. I want to take out all those turrets because there were four of them. Rot it down, Commander. Okay, first turret is knocked out. Enemy turn. And we got a scorpion coming in. Let's see what he wants to do. Gonna fire at us. Managed to get a good hit on us. Took out one of our evasions. Eh, wasn't too much damage, though. You haven't moved yet. Commander? Hi, Glitch. Can you kill me something, Glitch? It'd be really appreciated if you could do that. So, we're looking at a... If I do Precision Strike... On you... 85, 85, 70. Okay, and we just want to knock this center tor turret down, don't we? It's got 48 health. So if you can knock out that turret, or the front armor. No, we need the turret down. Blast it. Hit him with the PPC. Oh, that's a good gun. If you hit with it, it's a good gun. That's a vehicle kill. Alright, so he hadn't gone in the initiative order yet, which allows us to go again. Hi. Uh... Am I actually in range to just shoot at you? Yeah, we're in the sweet spot range and we have no heat. So let's load everything up. 80% chance to hit. All weapons committed. Give him the alpha strike. Picked him off. Alright, things are looking up. I mean, aside from our employer turning on us and now making us have to do all this. Back to our turn. It's Decker's go. Commander. Decker, I think I want to hide you. See, so you're, you're badly hurt. And uh, you being badly hurt makes me very much concerned for your safety. Where is that enemy? He's right back there. Okay. So Decker's going to run at full speed and get within this mountain train. On the move. That way we can, we can be protected from what's coming. And he'll brace for additional protection. Decker's not going to have a commanding influence on this fight anyway. Unknown vehicle swinging wide. He's gonna have a shot on pretty much any mech he wants, but shouldn't be able to kill us. 25 damage into the Vindicator. She's lost one evasion, but I think she should be fine. Alright, now it's three battle mechs versus a tank. Glitch, step on him. Tank versus oh. mech. Yeah, that's what we wanted to see. <laughs> and then she fires a small laser just to be a jerk Move about it. Oh, I think I like Glitch. Stand by for extraction, Commander. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, and Darius. I know, Mayor, I know. You want another team meeting. 
Give the man a prize. Mission successful. More or less. Hope that they weren't saying we're not going to get paid because because we got damaged mechs, especially that spider. Well done, Commander. You made the best of a bad situation. Here's hoping we don't run into another job like that one. Recaptured employer's mining platforms. Success. Engage and destroy enemy units. Great success. Survive. Also success. Our mercenary review board is rating 15. And not sure what any of these factions do. Mission complete. Payout zero. So they stiffed us. Ooh. Ow. My blackjack. She oh yeah, because I was cooking. We were cooking pretty bad. We took some structural damage this whole time. I didn't realize how close I had come to cooking my arms off. Interesting. And yeah, as you can see, the spider's been pretty badly dented. But we managed to pick up a decent number of kills. The spider apparently was responsible for two of those kills. <laughs> Good job. The Shadowhawk took another one. And the glitch took three more in her Vindicator. And we only have two vehicle kills. So, we live to fight another day, thankfully. Although, uh, you know... If we can avoid situations like that in the future, that'll make life a lot easier. After all, we, we actually do need to get paid for stuff, I assume. Rent to own. In orbit. You're Karine. You need to start finding us better clients, Darius. I mean it. We've been slumming it in the ass end of the frontier for three years now, and we are drowning in debt. I'm fully aware of our financial situation, Meyer, but I just can't conjure up new clients out of thin air. Jack, do me a bet solid and back me up on this. Is this why you made me all your commander? So you could break up fights and review financial reports? If we're really hard up for cash, we need to stop talking and start doing something about it. No thanks, Darius. I didn't take command of this house to settle arguments. Well, I think that's what a commander does, so I think we're going to go with two. If we're really that hard up for cash, we need to stop talking and start doing something about it. Hey, you'll have no arguments from me. When we made you our commander, we all agreed to follow your lead. Darius, could you walk us through the details of this trouble we're in? It might help if you broke things down point by point. Sure thing, Yang. Point one. Meyer's right. We're in debt. Every sea bill we make technically belongs to the banks. Point two. This corner of, of the frontier is a dead zone for mercenary work. There are clients, but they're terrible. That's just a fact. And that's it. There are no other points. What's our best case scenario? How many jobs will it take to repay the loans? Why don't you just refuse to pay? We can afford to throw our weight around. We've got battle mechs. Okay, so we're in a bad spot. What are we going to do about it? Uh, let's be, let's be forward thinking. What's our best case scenario? Truthfully, I can't even say. We're pretty deep in the hole. And from where I'm standing, I don't see a whole lot of daylight. The thing is, these banks, and I use that word loosely, they don't want us to pay off our loans. They'll do whatever they can just to keep to get away with just to keep us on the hook. Hit us with fees, jack up our interest rates, misfile our paperwork. I'm trying to find a way out of this, but it's going to take time. And every day that passes, we accumulate more debt. If we keep going like this, like we've been, we're screwed. Uh, oh, so this is just going to be a whole bunch of options to just get information. Why not refuse to pay? We can afford to throw our weight around. We've got battle mechs. That wouldn't be a very good idea, Tirak. The banks wouldn't come for us themselves. They hire mercenaries, and we already know how hard up frontier mercs are for work. If we stiff the banks, we'll end up dead or, debris or in a debtor's prison. And out here in the frontier, those are basically the same things. Okay, so we're in a bad spot. What are we going to do about it? I don't see what else we can do. I'm already serving up every legitimate contract I can find. Unless you want me to sidestep the Mercenary Review Board entirely, we're basically out of options. Go around the MRB? No thanks. Taking an uncertified job is a great way to wind up with a knife in your back. We just got betrayed on a board-certified contract, and how much worse could it get? We're already taking a lot of risks out here. I don't want to compound them unless I absolutely have to. Doesn't sound like such a bad idea to me. No guts, no galaxy, right? Yeah, we just got betrayed on a board-certified contract. Plenty. What happened down there was the exception, boss. With uncertified jobs, it's the rule. Remind me again why we don't just skip town and head towards a nice corner of the periphery? Because the banks and the jump ship crews have an arrangement. Until we pay up, they're going to keep us on a short leash. That's a good reason. Look, Darius, Mayor is right. We have to start earning some real money, and we need to do it soon. It's only a matter of time before something breaks down that I can't fix with duct tape and good intentions. Oh, we got an origin choice. We're going to have to pick this. I had to work a few uncertified jobs after I was uh, asked to leave my home system. It's risky, but it's better than going hungry. 
Desperate times, people. Darius, you know what we need to do. At the end of the day, I'd rather go down fighting than wind up broken. Yeah, we're going to pick the exile option. Hear that, Darius? The voice of experience speaks. Going around the MRB might kill us, sure. So might a thousand other things, but I'd rather die trying than give up and accept the inevitable. It's settled then. I'll start digging for contracts outside of the MRB system. Who knows? Maybe it'll work out for the best. Doesn't like we really have much to lose. In the meantime, we need to find another paying job, and all our prospects in this system have completely dried up. I'd recommend booking travel to a neighboring system and see what the review board has for us. With any luck, we'll find enough work to keep us going until something better rolls in. The banks are holding our, our jump ship access hostage until we repay our debts. For now, we can only be, go between ur Kurine and the nearby systems of Alloway, Bellerophon, and Detroit. Oh god, Detroit. Our top priority right now needs to be finding work, so we can find and raise cash. None of the contracts here are any good. I picked out the only viable one I could find, and it helpfully includes our travel fees as part of the deal. Come by the command center when you're ready to review it. So I think we finally meet, read it a stop point. All right, good. So we have finally reached the save point. This is the first time we've reached the actual management screen of this game. It appears that Glitch is out of action for the next month. Ugh. I like Glitch, too. She was doing a lot of good work. Unfortunately, that hit to the head really shook her up, and she's currently in a hospital right now. Or the hospital section on what I guess this is our little dropship. We've got three mech techs, six medicals. All right, so we're going to wrap things up here today. And things on a mediocre note, things are unfortunately tight for our little mercenary group, Voodoo's Marauders. That's an interesting name. Can't change it yet, so... Yeah, that's going to wrap things up for today. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I watch one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment. What do you think we should be doing to get out of this financial situation? Do you think it's time to start sidestepping the MRB? Or maybe things will turn out right. And I will see you all in the next episode.